But let's take a look at the front page of The Age, uh, the story by Rob Harris there, obviously dealing with this. And uh, the, the, the logical next step is Mackenzie quitting triggers a reshuffle and senior government figures are concerned uh, last night, being tonight, that it could set off a fresh round of infighting within the junior coalition partner. Look, that's not particularly... Um, that's not particularly surprising, Cam, but I guess to Christie's previous point um, around it being dragging out, you could also argue that the Prime Minister needed to observe some kind of process, and, and, but, but perhaps that back, backfired for him. Well, I think it has, um, because it's been about 18 days, and the trouble with these things is they don't go sure. away. And, you know, yeah, and, and I mean, I've been on Sky on a number of occasions in the last two and a bit weeks and asked about this, and I've tried to be gentle, but I've said from the beginning <laughs> that really uh, Bridget McKenzie needed to, to do the right thing and go because it doesn't go away, um, and, it, and it wasn't going to go away because of the Auditor General's report. And frankly, Bridget McKenzie has damaged the government and damaged the Prime Minister, and so has the Deputy Prime Minister. Well, uh, it because is. Because he should have dealt is, with it. And you yeah, know, you're yeah, quite and like, right. you know, like, and the yes. Nationals, and, and for the Nationals now to engage in some internecine sort of playing out of old scores and, and, and have, have sort of a leadership contest, it's just, it's just sort of. Or is it breaking bad? I don't know. It's well, just even is, worse. It's, you're it's just, quite right. just ridiculous. This is the, this I mean, is the... <laughs> let's just let's just take yeah, a look like, at the, like, the Australian. Like, believe it or not, yeah, po politics no, no, is right, actually Cam. a team sport. Well, you wouldn't, you'd never <laughs> you know, believe it. Of, but let's, it it your... often isn't played that way. Yeah. <laughs> to your point, Cam. Let's take a look at the uh, the story on the front page of the Oz because absolutely to that point, there's a grab from that story or a line in that story that absolutely speaks to what you were just saying and this is by uh, Greg Brown and Jeff Chambers that this Queensland Nationals MP Lou O'Brien said anything is possible anything is possible at Tuesday's meeting including a tilt against Mr McCormack as Nationals leader I mean it doesn't that just encapsulate what you were talking about this is now some sort of uh, absolutely and, 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 yeah and, it's and, like and Lou you know Quinzo like novel. please for, it's, the, yeah, it's mate, the godfather where for, all things yeah, are made equal yeah <laughs> Well, well, from me, from me, and I'm sure a lot of other people, to look, please put a sock in it. You know, like give it a break, mate. You know, like yeah, you're you know, quite look, right. Politics actually is is a team sport, and governments live and die by unity or disunity. And well, we need know, to be the ones who remind them They won an election in May last year. Yeah. Well, well, if they, you know, you just sometimes have to shut up and stick together. And stick to the program. It was bad enough there's, there's... Uh, allowing this thing to dra drag on for two and a half weeks, and that's the National Party's fault. Uh, but mm. to now then perhaps have this whole thing brew up into some sort of brawl is just unforgivable. So put a sock there, in it all of you. <laughs> you know, that's my message. There's a phrase I like to. There's a phrase I like to invoke at times like this, and it's "Let's all put purpose over preference and see where that gets us."